Do you keep hearing all the hype about gut health while trying to balance your hormones, but you're not too sure how the two are linked and then what to even do about it? In this video, you're going to learn everything you need to know about the link between hormones and your gut health, as well as tips to restore your gut health on the way to balancing your hormones, clearing your symptoms and optimizing your overall health. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified every time I post a new video teaching you how to balance your hormones naturally. And now that we've done that, let's get straight into it. I'm Madison Don't, a holistic hormone coach, and I have helped over 200 women balance their hormones and I'm here to help you do the same. In fact, in my ebook, we have a whole chapter on gut health. One of my beautiful customers even wrote in our private Facebook group, it was a total leap choosing to invest in Mad's ebook, but I'm so glad that I did. I'm so much more in touch and in love with my body now that I'm aware of everything it does for me. It has set me on a path of healing, which is invaluable. That said, the first thing I want to share with you in this video is how hormonal birth control can actually affect your gut health. There has been a lot of scientific research looking at the link between the two, and after studying over 75,000 women across 14 separate studies, it has been found that hormonal birth control increases the risk of inflammatory bowel diseases such as ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease, with some studies even showing a risk increase of over 30%. Hormonal birth control has also been linked to a bacterial imbalance in the gut and increased intestinal permeability, aka leaky gut, resulting in inflammation and impaired immune functioning. Depression can even be a result of poor gut health as the majority of our serotonin, also known as our happy hormone, is actually made in our gut. Serotonin also plays a role in gut motility, so a lack of serotonin can also lead to bloating and other digestive issues as well as poor sleep. Now, before we discuss what to do to restore your gut health, I first wanna know how long you've been or were on hormonal birth control such as the pill, the marina, the implanon, or any others. Let me know in the comments below. Now, improving your gut health really comes down to two main things, diet and stress. So aside from having a healthy diet and avoiding inflammatory foods, as I teach you how to master in both my ebook and my course, when looking to improve your gut health, it is crucial that you specifically include both prebiotics and probiotics into your diet. I go deep into the difference between pre and probiotics and the best sources of each in this video up here that I have linked also in the description below. This step is super important, so make sure that you do go and watch that video because probiotics are going to help you restore the balance of good bacteria in your gut and prebiotics are going to help you nourish them and keep them working as efficiently as possible for you. As for stress, this is a super important factor that plays into gut health and is often overlooked as stress directly impacts the blood supply to the gut, therefore disrupting digestion and reducing the absorption of vital nutrients. This in turn can then negatively impact the colonization of good bacteria in the gut. Now, what's important to understand and really take seriously is that there is no hierarchy of stress, meaning that even the smallest stresses that you think you can handle can still end up causing a chemical change in the body by spiking cortisol levels. It is then the sustained high cortisol levels that result in restriction of the blood supply to the digestive system, thus impacting the microbiome. Therefore, when here healing in any capacity, especially when restoring your gut health after hormonal contraception, it is super important to prioritize sleep and slowing down. This also includes making sure that you are maintaining a healthy work-life balance. I know this can be easier said than done, and I have definitely had to put more effort into achieving this myself, but I can promise you that the health benefits that result are so worth slowing down for. If you'd like to learn more about strategies for optimizing your diet, stress management, and gut health, to balance your hormones and clear your symptoms naturally, then I recommend you check out my Balance Your Hormones ebook. If you're interested, I will leave a link in the description below where you can have a little preview of the chapters and read the many other testimonials. And if you liked this video, then please let me know by liking it below and subscribing as it really does support my channel and allows me to continue bringing you these educational videos backed in scientific research for free. Also be sure to check out this video next where I show you how to know if you have a hormonal imbalance and then then how to know which hormones may be out of balance for you so that you can get to the bottom of your annoying hormonal symptoms. But that's all from me for today. I wish you all the health and happiness and I will see you in my next video next week.